Today we're going to talk about two very, very different families of products. The first one is our CUL. This is an IP69K that's suitable for power washing, 1500 PSI, in grade uplight. The lens frame screws on. We have a special tool that allows you to unthread it and take it off and then lock it in place. Inside, we have a rubber ring. This is not a gasket. This is a lens holder. This fits inside, and when we use a linear prism spread lens, it allows you to rotate it 360 degrees to aim it regardless of how the fixture is mounted in grade. The linear prism lens is unique in that we ceramically coat the back side of the prisms so that the viewing angle has glare control. We're shining the light against the wall, but we're not shining it into the light of somebody standing there. The rubber ring lens holder has two separate positions so that I can put in a color filter, a diffusing lens, I can put in honeycomb louver, I can put in the linear spread lens, I can put in any two at the same time. We put an arrow on the body that shows that this faces the wall. This is cast stainless steel, very heavy duty. 30 watts with an Araya chip. The Araya chip is both tunable white, I can go from 1650K to 8000K, or I can do RGBW with the same chip. I'm controlling this with an app on my phone. It's Bluetooth. You can control it that way. You can control it with Kasami. The second series we're going to talk about are a new series of wet label downlights. The R is the round, the Q is the square, the RX is the round crisscross. Now, each one of these designs comes in four different variations. It comes in a T. We have the RT, the QT, the RXT. That uses an Araya chip. That again gives you tunable white, 1650 degrees to 8000. It gives you RGBW. The RSI, QSI, RXI are integral drivers, static white. These are wet label IP65. All of them are constructed the same. We have a die cast neck, we have a die cast trim, we have the body painted black for the best thermal management. We have a 3 16th inch thick polycarbonate lens on three of the four variations. We then have a remote version, the RSR, remote driver, QSR, RXR. Those are the steam room fixtures. When we test the fixture for steam room usage, we have to test to a 60 degree C room ambient. We have a fourth version, which I'm not showing. That is the halogen version, RHR, QHR, RXH. That uses a 3 16th inch thick glass lens that is not vandal resistant. But the halogen unit is suitable for saunas. When we test for sauna compliance, it has to be to a 90 degree C room ambient. That's about 195 degree Fahrenheit. Currently, we do not have an LED that will work in saunas. We only do the LED in steam rooms. We're testing a new LED. We hope to be able to have sauna LED fixtures available by the end of September. We will be introducing a linear version of the steam room fixture in September in both tunable white and static white. That will come in a one foot, two foot, four foot, and continuous run. No corners yet. We hope to have the corners later this year. That will be extruded aluminum with die cast ends. 
that will be vandal resistant with a 3 16 inch thick polycarbonate lens. There will be no visible hardware on the lens frame. There will be set screws on the side. You loosen them, you pivot the lens frame, gives you access to the LEDs. That will have a remote driver when used in the steam room picture. That's our video for today. This is the first one. This will become a regular occurrence. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Bye.